Hi guys, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uranium because this is one of those uh, favorites that everybody asks about. Uh, everybody's fascinated with this metal, metal uh, at least for the crowd that we work with, uh, mostly collectors and sometimes uh, we sell to institutions, you know, schools and academia. But in any case, uh, uranium is one of those metals that uh, always fascinates people because it is radioactive and um, it's something that you don't expect to find uh, just anywhere. And in fact, you don't find it just anywhere. Um, there are regulations that we are um, bound to. Uh, there's a certain limit. We have to know the uh, exact amount of radiation that is emitted uh, and a whole bunch of other things. But in short, it is legal to own this metal. It's not very cheap, um, but in small quantities, it is absolutely harmless. Uh, you do not need to worry about uh, what to do with it, or you know, you don't need to keep it under a coffin made of lead or anything like that. This right here, I'm holding a one gram sample. Uh, it goes for, I think, $39 with plus shipping. Uh, and this is by far uh, what most people go for. It's, uh, it's kept in these ampules because if you leave it out, it will turn dark until it looks completely black. Uh, so to keep the metallic luster, uh, these ampules are used, uh, which have argon gas inside them. And uh, it's just really cool. It's a very dense metal. You you certainly feel that moving around in there. Uh, and it's a, a nice tactile experience. Here's uh, five grams. Uh, quite a bit more expensive, you know, five times more metal. Um, don't think it's exactly linear in the cost, but uh, not much of a discount either. It's just that you get, you know, a bigger sample to play around with. Um, and uh, what can I say about uranium? It's, it's, it's a metal that is very, uh, with very low amount of radioactivity. Uh, it, Inside this glass, you're you're probably not going to be able to detect it with a Geiger counter, uh, but if you do, it's going to be a very low amount. So what that adds up to is, uh, you know, you're you're not going to um, be harmed by having small amounts of this metal in a collection. Obviously, things change, and I've said this before in other videos. If you were to play around with this, eat it, God forbid, or just even leave it out and let it uh, accumulate dust because you know the rust will will come off of it and become airborne then that becomes a, a cancer hazard but uh, inside uh, there really is nothing to worry about uh, and it is you know just such a beautiful metal and had, there's so much history uh, built around this and it's an instant conversation starter if you uh, if you get one of these so great collectible uh, and uh, you know, it's science in a capsule, basically. If you have any questions about uranium, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. Uh, this is Raciel for Luciteria. Thank you so much.